My name is Marissa Haslock. I am Duke Haslock's mom. Um, so I found out I was pregnant at um, very early on and they confirmed I was having twin identical boys and I was completely thrown off. I was 22 weeks pregnant. I didn't even know what to think or nothing. My pregnancy with them was amazing. They um, were really easy to carry. I didn't gain much weight. They were my second pregnancy, so things were a little bit more smooth. Um, I knew what my body could handle. I knew feelings. I never had any concern I was gonna have a premature birth. I had them premature at 34 weeks pregnant. I had a very short time to process what was gonna happen. Um, throughout my pregnancy, they were pretty steady on growing and being the same. When Dustin, baby A, was born, he came out crying, everything was fine, I got to hold him. Then he went into the NICU. Duke came out, he struggled for a minute, but he did cry. He um, started to show signs of not breathing right away. Um, and so they took him back immediately. They did tell me that something, you know, this could come about of something later on in life. They were great up until a year old. Um, Duke never rolled from his, from his belly to back or back to belly when his brother was. At a year old, Dustin was crawling. Duke was not. He wasn't even sitting up. We always just compared him to Dustin, but not fully, because we always know all kids are different. So, but he was kind of the one who was like, okay, like this is where, you know, he's at. So we kind of expected Duke to follow shortly behind, um, but he didn't. August of 22, we started physical therapy just one day a week. And um, he started crawling very shortly after. And uh, then um, he did have double eye surgery. He had two lazy eyes. So we had double eye surgery. We thought possibly maybe this is just because of his eyes. He doesn't have um, depth is what they were telling us. So maybe he just can't see the floor correctly. So we thought, you know what, it's his eyes. There's nothing majorly wrong. And we started a second round of um, like physical therapy. When he was getting fitted for SMOs, we, well, the man who was fitting him was like, I've seen something similar to this. I'm not telling you this is what it is, but I'm saying, you know, maybe look into this. And it was CP. And so I did some at home research and I'm like, this fits everything that I'm seeing of just the delayed walking, the stiffness in his legs. So we went and got an MRI done. He was officially diagnosed July 5th with CP. Um, they told me it was a mild case and that um, it wasn't something that could get worse and it was something that he would live with for the rest of his life, but they never said that they couldn't see him walking. He has very, he has a high determination of what he wants. Our physical therapist, Liz, she told me about um, Alicia at the Oxford Center. And I, I'm open to trying everything, right? Like when she told me this, I was like, wow, it sounds like amazing. And so I was like, where do I sign up? Where do I call? And so that's when we called and we were instantly seen, I think the next week. And we instantly signed up for suits. The second I heard of it, I was like, this just sounds like a dream. So we signed up and I remember like our goals was just to see him take more than 20 steps at a time. The first week I was like, okay, like, yeah, you know, he's, his balance was a little bit better. And then it was the second week and I was like, okay, like he has to like, he just has this motivation. Like you can see it in him how much he wants to walk. And then the third week I was a little skeptical because I'm like, oh no, like, is he ever gonna walk? Like in my heart, I'm just waiting for the big, big moment of this. And I've heard so many stories, amazing stories, 
and just walking in the facility, just I instantly have this warm hearted feeling of like a family and just everyone is just everyone here you can just get the vibe of they want to help they want to see you succeed they're willing to do whatever and I remember week three I was told he's gonna pull it together I, I had faith there was nothing that didn't I didn't have faith over in this I just I knew he was gonna thrive and then Week four, I remember Monday when he was walking up to the front and she was just in the back, like not even holding onto him and he was just walking. And I just like, it was just goosebumps. I was like, he's, go he's gonna walk, like he's, he will walk. And there's no greater feeling than just knowing my child will walk. He is going to accomplish things that he gets so frustrated over now. He will be able to do that it just it warms me so much and now we are starting physical therapy and we are doing three days a week and i can't even wait to start suits again like i i would do it right now if i could like and he loves it i have to say i have never been able to leave him somewhere during physical therapy like i've always had to be there and i've left him for four hours at a time and he just he loves it he talks about we call it school he talks about school at home he now walks at home like he never in the beginning he would just crawl at home I could not get him to walk at home and now he just walks he walks everywhere it's slow it's the beginning but it's something and we all got to start somewhere and my he reached the goal that I wanted him at at the end of this, even more, like better than I had hoped. So this journey has, it's been amazing and I will, like I am committed to the Oxford Center because they have shown me more progress in the shortest amount of time than I have seen in a year of going anywhere.